My godson Peter sent me this. I want you to hear this. Do you know God wants us to have his peace rule our hearts and lives all the time? I am finding that even in the most difficult of circumstances, God doesn't want us to stay our focus on those circumstances. How then do we focus on him when we are in impossible situations that seem to shackle us down and dominate our thoughts and lives? Wow, good question, huh? <clears throat> Philippians 4, 8 through, through 9 says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are a good report, if there is any virtue, if there is any praiseworthy, hmm, meditate on these things. The things which ye learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. Now, I want to share this. We can be determined. We can be determined to be caught up in an emotional windstorm, in an emotional tornado. Or we can run from that bad boy and go another direction. Sometimes you see a tornado look like it's just going down the road. Well, if you see it's going down the road, don't try to outrun it. Turn right. If it's going north, turn east. If it's going west, go south. Go perpendicular. Go in a whole different direction. Don't follow the road that the tornado is paving for you. It's going to do nothing but leave you with destruction. Why allow demonic forces to tie you up in knots, chew you up, spit you out, between, and you just stay there and agree with the demonic forces? Why do that? You've got a God in heaven that is giving you everything you need to fight with. You got to throw that punch yourself, baby. Get up, dust yourself off, and get back in that fight. Now, if you choose not to get in that fight, then you have chosen to allow the devil to sodomize your emotions. You have chosen to agree with the devil. Believe it or not, yes, you have. You have chosen to come into one with the demonic forces that are trying to pull you down. You're grabbing hands with them and coming into total agreement with them. When you dance to their tune, get up, get yourself together and fight. You've been taught how to fight. Use your battle equipment. Use your arsonry. Fight. Fight the good fight of faith. And quit wimping out to the enemy. He ain't your daddy, baby. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Uh-huh. Yeah. J-E-S-U-S. -S. Well, use that name, baby. That's where your authority comes from. 